going on? It's your boy Nick Chubb, running back for the Cleveland Browns, number 24. Hit my boy Picasso in downtown LA. The NFL fine, waiting to happen right here. But you sent me something unlike any of these. Ooh. Are you really into bowling? I'm to go bowl right now. What I decided to do out here in LA was run out of bowling alley and bring some of the local kids from Boys and Girls Club in. Straight. You're really good, Nick. The Browns are like America's team now. What's going on? It's your boy Nick Chubb, running back for the Cleveland Browns, number 24. Hit my boy Kakasso in downtown LA. He does a lot of things with the NFL, with cleats, and so I told him, you know, customize me a pair of shoes. Let's go see what he got. Nick, what's up, man? What's up? How you doing? Good, man. Nice pleasure to finally meet yeah, you. Yeah, pleasure to meet you. Well, thank you for coming to the shop, man. Hell yeah. My brain is all over the wall, basically. Yeah, I like it. So, like, growing up, what was the shoe that you just had to have that you couldn't have or maybe you, you had anyway? If I could have any pair of Nike, I was okay. No matter what it was, the Air Forces, the Jordans, anything like that. Anything I was fine with a swoosh. No. I'm a huge Batman fan, so I see the Joker. Why so serious? <laughs> yeah, the, making the, the Joker like a, a happening thing in the NFL with Odell. You know, we did yeah, the whole yeah. Joker thing and Batman with Jarvis too. You know, this one's like Superman. Yeah, Superman. Into a Jordan 4. <sighs> so just uh, crazy stuff like that. This is the Hellraiser, the pinhead. <laughs> I don't think the refs would like this. I don't know, man. That's the NFL fine waiting to happen right here. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, all of these shoes are cool, but you sent me something unlike any of these. Yeah. Are you ready to go down to the lab and let's, check them out? Let's see what you see got See what for I me. did for them? Yeah, let's go. Yeah, so this is the lab, man. This is where we make everything happen. Okay, I can see why you come down here and do your work, because you got all these things around you, like motivation, kind of yeah. get you going. Definitely, definitely my creative, happy space. So, this is what we're here for, though. Yeah. When I opened this box up, I did not know it was a bowling shoe. Yeah. And this is the very first pair that I've ever done. So, are you really into bowling? Like, that's that's your, your favorite uh, hobby? Uh, me and some guys from my team, my college team in Georgia, we had a bunch of free time in the off-season, so we had to find something to do. So, we started bowling, and, man, we... We started getting pretty good at it, so we started, you know, liking it more and more. And we got uh, our own bowling balls, our shoes. I'm really excited to show it to you. I hope you love it. Let's check it out, see what he got. I can't wait for you to see it. I'm gonna let you do it. Am I doing it? Yeah, I'm gonna let you. I'll do it. Let's see what we got in here. Ooh. I like them. 27 Georgia is what means the most to me. <laughs> it's my right shoe right here, you see it? Georgia, 27. Like it was that shark teeth. Yep, yep. <laughs> Just you, you're mean. You're a mean oh, bowler. Yeah. On the back, the Batman logo. <laughs> Feel like I'm bowling 300 in these already. <laughs> I, was, I did the uh, orange here and then the yeah, red there. That. Just kind of, you know. Yeah, I see that. The Chubb specials. I can't wait to test these out later on. I've never had a pair of shoes like this. It's like me expressing to a bowling shoe. Got me right. Crazy thing about it, I'm about to go bowl right now. What? Somebody, I'm about to put them to good use and test them out. Hopefully I have a great game, I'm sure I will. But Send me some pictures. All right, I will for sure. I Best of luck, man, I, I expect 300. Oh yeah, I got you. My man Kikasso definitely got me right on the shoes. Now it's time to put them to use. I'm from a small town called Cedar Town. It's in the northwest part of Georgia. A very small family, but we're all super close, and I'm very proud of my people and, and where we come from. My mom, she was a single parent, and I lived with her along with my brother and sister. I just seen her working multiple jobs, trying to provide. We had everything we wanted and things we needed. And my mom was my rock. Just a lot of things were instilled with me at a young age, instilled within me, and you know, how to work hard, um, how to carry myself. And you know, that place is what built me, and, Maybe to the man I am, I take pride in that. I know for me it was no brainer. I was going to Georgia, and nothing you could have told me would have steered my mind away from that. It's like treason to go anywhere else. But the best four years of my life was at the University of Georgia. 
I met my best friends. Uh, I played for, you know, some incredible coaches. It got me prepared for the NFL, not only as a player, but also as a person, man. So my freshman year going to Georgia, Todd Gurley was there. And I committed with Sonny Michelle, a five-star from Florida. And, you know, some people was asking me, you know, why you want to go there? You're going to be red-shirted. You know, you're not going to play. You know, in my head, I, I never shied away from it. I thought it was an opportunity for me to prove myself. The hardest thing I've probably been through in my entire life was dealing with my injury. It was like maybe three or four years ago. It's like the first play of the game. And I remember just this pop and this like tingly feeling in my leg. I had no idea how bad it was, but I know I seen it and it looked weird, but I didn't know what to expect. I completely tore everything in my knee. And it's a lot of things just went through my head. It's, it's will I play again? And if I do play again, will I ever be the same? It was, it was tough, you know, but it was definitely more tough mentally than physically. And I was just blessed uh, to get back up and to not stay down and to not give up and to keep training, keep grinding, get myself in shape to play football, get my knee right, and everything else fell into place. Draft night, something I'll never forget, an amazing moment for me, still so surreal. Just as a kid, I always wanted to play in the NFL, and it's like a dream come true for me. And I mean, I was lucky to get picked by the Browns, man. It's a blessing because the Browns kind of represent who I am, man. It's a team that has been down for a while, and no one believes in them. And I got a chance to go there with a lot of great other guys and turn things around and get things going in the right direction. So, like, you know, I love challenges, and this is a huge challenge for me. We dropped the number one pick, Baker Mayfield, who has been, you know, Great for the organization. He came in like a, he was a rookie, he became like a veteran and took control of the team. And then they added me along and I was just happy to be there amongst great, great guys and learning from them and, you know, picking Jarvis Landry's mind and Tyrod and seeing how they, you know, adjust to being in the NFL and just learning anything I could from these guys to be successful. If you go anywhere in Cleveland, people are saying the Browns are like America's team now. Cleveland's an interesting place very chilled and relaxed and laid back, and that's who I am. So the city fits me perfect, and the team fits me perfect, and I wouldn't want to be anywhere else. The biggest thing I've done in my life was sign a million dollar contract. Growing up not having much money, family not having much money. So like money to me is very precious. So I don't I don't spend my money at all because like all the hard work I put in, lifting weights, running in the morning, the reward is the money. In the offseason, my head back home, man. Like I said, I don't really spend money. I'm living with my mom. I actually got a futon. I'm sleeping on the futon. It's like I'm poor, man. I got all this money. I'm living on the futon in my mom's house. But it comes with incentives. You know, she cooks, she does my laundry, things like that. I bought my mom a car. I mean, the car that she had when I was a kid was a hand-me-down, so it went to my brother. Then it went to me. And by the time I got it, it was all beat up and worn down. <laughs> I think running back is a very unique position. And everyone thinks it's so easy to get the ball and run with it, but I mean, there's so many things that go into it. As a running back, you either have it or you don't. And I, mean, I do things in the game that's just straight instinctive. You know, just with the jump cuts, it just happens. It's just first thing, just you're not even thinking. Like, I know I'm having a good game, but my mind is like blank and I'm not thinking. Go with the flow, just let it happen. If you don't press it, you know, the great things will come. All right, finally made it here to Bolero. Time to put these shoes to use and go have some fun. Oh, man. You got to set up real nice in here. Got the Boys and Girls Club logo on the lanes. Back when I was a kid, I was part of Boys and Girls Club. It's an organization that brings kids in. They aid to them any way they can. So what I decided to do out here in LA was run out of bowling alley and bring some of the local kids from Boys and Girls Club in to bowl and um, just talk, get to know each other, hang out a little bit. Bring it in, bring it in, bring it in. There we go, right there, right like there. Like in football. Yeah. So y'all ready to bowl? Yeah! I think youth is, you know, definitely important because at a young age, you're like a sponge, man. You're soaking up anything and everything you see. Strike! So I know um, kids need to be around great people and know that there's a chance that they can do anything they want in life. There's hope, there's opportunity. 
I like to lead them in the right direction, show them that they can do anything they want, they can achieve their dreams. Casa said me up with these new shoes. Thank you, Nick, for taking us bowling. This is really awesome. Thank you, Nick, so much. Appreciate y'all having me out here. Of course. I want to owe. $6,000 even. Yeah. Money well spent. You guys been with me all day, just hanging out. First, we went by Picasso, got me some customized shoes. Then I came to the bowling alley where I bought it out for the Boys and Girls Club to have some fun. But now it's time for me to teach these kids some lessons. So Nick Chubb, signing off.